In this video, I'm going to be sharing the best deep fried chicken wings. And unless you're vegan or vegetarian, this may not be your thing, but you can still watch. So just stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, the Minister of Beauty. I share the Bible that's business, inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. So in this video, we're gonna have a little bit of enjoyment and I'm gonna be sharing my recipe for the best, in my personal opinion, deep fried chicken wings. I know air fryers are a thing, but I really love my deep fryer. I use it for frying my turkey once a year. It's something that has just pretty much become a tradition for my family since 2007. I really, really love this thing. And so I want to share my recipe because it's pretty quick and pretty simple. But I use simple ingredients, iodized sea salt, cracked black pepper, paprika, some Texas peat hot sauce, just to name a few. Actually, those are the few ingredients, so it's not even like I have much more than that. But we're also going to add an egg and some self-rising, self I should say, or all-purpose flour. I am using gloves. I like to use gloves when I am working with food in the kitchen. Of course, my hands are clean underneath the gloves, but I'm going to put an egg in a Ziploc bag. Add some Texas peat hot sauce. and just blend that all together, shake it all up in the bag, get all of that egg mixture and hot sauce mixed up together. And then I'm going to get my package of wings and I'm going to rinse them off really, really well. I like to make sure my sink is exceptionally clean before I do anything because I like to use my sink as I am cooking to make sure that anything that is like seasoning or residue from products or whatever, it's all in the sink. That way when I'm done, I can just wash that sink out, rinse it all out, it goes down the drain and it's all good. Yeah, you can clean the counters off, but why make a mess of the countertops if you can do it all in the sink or most of it at least. And once I've got all the pieces that I'm going to be using rinsed off really well, I put it in the Ziploc bag with the mixture of the egg and the hot sauce, get it all mixed up in there, shake it up a good bit to get it really coated well. And I'm going to keep it in that same bag and move it to the refrigerator. So next I'm going to line up the sink with some foil paper I'm going to get those wings out of the refrigerator because it is time for coating it with the seasonings that I'm going to be using so I'm going to get those wings out of that bag with the hot sauce an egg mixture and I'm going to lay those wings out on the foil in the sink so that I can get ready to coat it with the seasonings that I'm going to be using which is my salt my black pepper and my paprika
And once I've got them all seasoned, then I'm going to place all of those wings that I've seasoned into the bag that I use for coating them with the flour. I have a nice gallon size freezer or storage Ziploc bag, put them in, make sure that that bag is sealed all the way so I can do my shaking, tossing and turning, making sure that all of those wings are getting coated evenly with the flour. And I forgot to mention as I was doing all of that before I did anything, I preheated my oil in the deep fryer. So you can see it here because I wanna make sure that that green light is on that lets me know that my oil is ready. I have it set on the 350 degree mark. So once it's ready and it's at the temperature that it needs to be, then I can put my wings into the basket so that I can place them into the oil and let it do its thing. This is a pretty big deep fryer. It's big enough for a full size turkey. I wanna say up to 14, 15 pound turkey. So we keep it on the floor. It's just easier and safer to do so, but it's definitely safe for indoor frying of turkeys. And again, I've been using this style since about 2007. So this works really well, not just for turkeys, but anything that's going to be of a large quantity for you to deep fry so I absolutely love it this is probably the third one that I'm on in all of the years that I've been using these because I guess the element may burn out over time and the first one that I had I want to say we had it probably for a little over 12 years so they last pretty long for the most part but I dipped that basket into the oil and I let it do its thing for about 20 minutes yeah, so after about 20 minutes, it is all done. So it's time to flip that lid open, lift that basket out of the oil, let it drain. And then I can take my pieces out of the basket and we can get ready to enjoy. And I mean, look at those wings. Don't they look good? Don't you want to just dive in? Even if you are a vegan or a vegetarian, I, I know this looks good to you, just admit it. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty simple salt black pepper paprika some egg a little hot sauce we don't want to make them spicy but it just gives them a little bit more spice and a little bit of a kick but again it doesn't make the flavor too intense it just really makes it more enjoyable more flavorful and i absolutely love these so this is my go-to recipe for my deep fried chicken wings i hope that you can enjoy this recipe at home. Let me know if you're gonna try it out. Let me know if you have any other tips in the comment section below. Thank you so much for checking out this video and others on the channel by becoming a subscriber. You can continue to support me and check out the links in the description box. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this Bible journey of business, inspiration, beauty, life, and enjoyment. I am the Minister of Beauty. And until the next time, I hope you all have an amazingly blessed and beautiful day.